What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Subscribe, stay for more. I'm starting this video in my car again. If you haven't seen my Get Lit With Me playlist yet, I'm gonna leave the card up here for you to go check that out. After this video, of course. This video was super, super requested how I take and edit my own pictures. Today. people that could possibly take pictures of me i just like doing things myself because i know um how i want my stuff and i'm the type of person that needs it to be perfect so this is how i do that it's honestly very very simple anybody can do this um themselves you don't have to be like a photographer i'm going to show you how you can take your own pictures on your phone or a camera then towards the end i'm going to show you how i edit and the apps that i use so before i take y'all outside i'm going to show y'all what i use so this is this is my tripod. This is a part of the Amazon Basics. I think it was like $20. You can like maneuver it. You, this is like the smallest it gets, but you can like um, make it bigger. I love this thing. It's very compact. As you can tell, you can really bring it anywhere with you. A lot of people just start recording a video and then screenshot pictures from the video, but the quality of that is really bad. So I don't do that. I use a timer. This one I got from Amazon too. I'm gonna leave both of the links to these down below. Really easy to connect. Just turn on the switch and then you see that blue light starting to flash. Go into Bluetooth and you see it's a already connected it says a b shutter six when you're going to take a picture you just press this button right here and then take as many pictures as you want so let's just go outside and let me show y'all how i set up make sure that it's on there tight boom and then once i'm out there i'm gonna open this up let's go so once i'm in the location that i want i try to find wherever the best natural lighting is and then I set up the tripod in that area and then I literally just sit there or stand there and try all different types of poses, all different types of styles. If you guys want more in depth of how to pose, I have a couple of videos up on what I learned through modeling and I will leave a card up for you guys to go check it out. All right, so first things first, you want to check to see if they came out good. So I literally take a thousand, right? All types of styles, all different types of movements. My favorite, all the ones that I like. All right, so I switch out to my phone. After you go into self shooting, you can pick a self timer. I usually do three seconds. It can be kind of hard to take pictures on a camera because you can't focus it on yourself. What you do is you take something that's big enough as you, let's just say it's a lamp, you put it where you're going to be sitting or standing. You take it off of auto focus, you put it onto manual focus. Then you're behind the camera, you focus it on to the lamp. Once it's focused as the way that you would want it to be, you put it back on to autofocus, and then you set it up, you move the lamp, you stand in the place of the object that you put there, and it's gonna be automatically focused in on you. So like if you're tired of taking your pictures at home, just go to the nearest mall around you. I always go to the emptiest parking lot and I go up to the highest floor where pretty much nobody's gonna be and take some pics. Now let's go edit these. Up. So obviously we're on a totally different day, totally different vibe right now. While I was editing the video, I realized that I didn't show y'all how I edit the pictures, so we're gonna do that right now, and we gotta kinda hustle because I'm at 5% on my phone, so let's get into it. I always use Afterlife for my pictures usually. I use VescoCam for like the pre-save filters, very rarely on occasions. Like click the three, we're gonna click this right here on the bottom, the adjustments. Brightness, I'll sometimes put it up if I need to, but because this picture has like pretty good average like lighting, we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna go into contrast. I always go into contrast and I put that up. I like to zoom in so I can see myself. Just adds a little something and then I go into vibrance. This is gonna make your, I usually do 15 or 12 i'm gonna leave it at 12 right there that's good go into saturation okay saturation i usually put up if i want to look a little tan if i want to look like i just came back from dubai like I, you don't even know where i came back from that's how tan i look in my picture you know what i mean um but right now this is making me look a little orange so we're gonna we're not gonna put saturation on this picture <laughs> and then we go into temperature you can use this to make your picture cooler like this or you can make it warmer like this my instagram feed is mostly all like warm tones so i go in and i warm that up a little bit like let's say i think that's good like at 10 we're gonna leave it at 10. never put the settings anything like above 15 or like 20 because that would be too much okay next this is very important the shadows always going to the shadows put that 
not up because if you put it up it adds this grain effect which is fine if that's like what you're going for but i like to make it darker so that it makes the picture sound out more you see how before it was kind of like i don't know like just lighter but now that you add the shadows it just makes the image just overall darker it darkens my hair my features it makes things pop up more currently this is before and this is after pretty good we're gonna save that and now we're gonna go into our camera roll at the top right corner and click edit straighten and we're gonna straighten it out um, as you can tell right now it's kind of at a slant like it's like right this but once we go like this you can kind of fix it so we're gonna straighten it out kind of like that and you can see that it's straight because the lines from here are matching up to the lines on the ceiling it makes your pictures look more like symmetrical and is more pleasing to the eyes so I really like doing that and then we're gonna go into Instagram you go into the very very top part thing at the top that says Lux and I add that sometimes because it adds like a little i don't know what it does but i add like about 10 to 15 of that i don't know what it does it like brightens it makes it warm it just makes it look the tones are even though i don't know what exactly it does but it does the job and then we go into edit at the bottom right and we're gonna slide all the way down to sharpen you know how like instagram lowers the quality of your pictures for some reason i'd use the sharpen and i put it up to like 20 or 21 whatever put it up to 20 that's gonna add more detail to your pictures so that when you post it is not as blurry as it would have been before and yeah that is how i edit my picture it's all done i usually use the same process for pretty much all of my pictures thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed it if you like to see more of me and my face subscribe we're doing a massive giveaway at 100k so make sure you are in tune for that so you can be a part of that i hope you found this video informational is that a word informational i hope you guys I hope this video out, okay? <laughs> and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.